Marlins hosting the Tigers, and the Tigers are plus 130 on the money line. The Marlins are minus 150 over under seven runs. The Tigers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you would win. And the Marlins laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 143, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Tigers are one in three as a team in Skubal's last uh, four appearances. He's averaging four innings pitched and 5.8 strikeouts per game in those games. And in those games, his ERA is at 1.4. And this is saying he's averaging four and a third innings pitched and not four. So let's just, uh, you know, keep that in mind. His last outing, he was magnificent. No earned runs and he struck out nine. The game before that, not so much. Seven earned runs and he struck out three. And then the three previous games to that, he allowed no earned runs, striking out five, striking out six, and striking out four. So it could have just been a bad game that he had against the Royals. Now for Lazardo, the Marlins are six and four as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 4.2 strikeouts per game in those games. Now, in his last five games, he's got an ERA of one. So both of these pitchers' ERAs are incredibly low. And the Marlins are four and one in his last five appearances. He gave up one earned run in his last outing and struck out 13. So fantastic game. Two earned runs and struck out two. Two earned runs and struck out nine. And then the two previous games to that, zero earned runs and struck out eight and then zero earned runs and struck out nine. So you may want to keep an eye out for the K line in this game for both of these pitchers. Now, head to head, the road team is six and four. These teams are five and five against each other in their last 10. The underdog is six and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is eight and two. There have been four one run games in their last 10 meetings. The over is six, three and one, and the over seven is seven, two and one in their last 10 games. The game they played today, the Tigers won 5-0. The game before that, the Marlins won 6-5. Those are the two games that they've played against each other so far this year. In their last handful of games overall, the Tigers snapped their losing streak. They are 1-3 in their last four. And they are 4-6 in their last ten, losing 6-0 and 11-4 to to the Angels, then losing 6-5 to to the Marlins, and then beating the Marlins today 5-0. For the Marlins, they are 2-2 two two in their last four, 3-7 in their last 10. Losing to the Rays 4-1, then beating the Rays 7-1, then beating the Tigers 6-5, and then losing 5-0 to the Tigers. If both of these pitchers have keep pitching the way that they've pitched in their last handful of outings, this is going to be a low-scoring game, which I understand now why the casino set the over-under so low. I'm going to hedge my bets here and just kind of hope that the bullpen doesn't completely screw me in this game. I'm going to take the Marlins with the money line because Lazardo's ERA is slightly lower and he's home. I will take the Tigers getting the runs and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.